hello guys this is from gadgets in this pro video we are going to see about like what are what and all options are in this product and how to use this product and how to give the wiring for this product and how to connect this device with the wi-fi so let's get into the video so this is the mcb mcb or rcbo rcbo can be used for this device in order to protect from short circuit you need to use this mcb or rcbo so this is called such protection device spd so we use here t2 plus t3 t2 helps from the surge which is happening from the transfer room and t3 helps t3 you can observe t3 helps you from the uh, transfer room where um, it helps you to protect from the fine surges, ultra fine. For example, if this SPD, if you use, it will protect the um, your home appliance appliance from the PCB like TV, fridge, washing machine, PCB can be protected from this device. Any surges like within nanosecond, this SPD will be activated, and this will help to protect this device as well as your home appliance also and you'll be having the doubt now then what is the use of using this device so this device will help you to protect from high voltage low voltage and over current protection and it will this device help you to track the energy monitoring usage so we, let's see like how we have given the connection this is neutral and line we have given if you have your thing you can do the connection here your thing if you don't have if you're using your own mcb you will be having the input and output so you need to connect neutral and line this is neutral and line where we have took the output and given to the spd search protection device okay search protection device so parallelly we have tipped the output to the here you can check neutral line in so this is line red line so this is neutral in okay so let's give the power and check how does this work so once you turn on you will be getting the message like this so here this is up arrow and this is down arrow okay so here you can do up and down so you need to select the english language so let's zoom and click OK. Let's wait. So once it is activating the Wi-Fi. To connect with the Wi-Fi with this device, your router should be or your line should be only on 2.4 GHz network. Only for the first time to connect with the device and with the router. So let's take OK next and next. So once you get this message, you need to just uh, download the Smart Life app from the Play Store. Once you download the Smart Life from the Play Store, this is the Smart Life app. You need to connect your device with your router. So once you have connected, you need to turn on your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and locations. Okay. So, this will help you to uh, find the nearby devices easily. So, let's open that device and there is a plus icon. You can need to plus that and just add the device. So, here it automatically de start detecting. You can observe it is automatically start detecting. So, you need to click this and Put your Wi-Fi router password. So once once you entering the router password, then click next. So this device is now getting connected with the router. Now done. So now this device is connected with the router.
I hope now you can see clearly. Okay, um, you can scroll this. <coughs> okay, here you can check all the data like how much electric total electricity is used, what is the bill, what is the power, and what is the current and voltage. In this is third generation of the device, so we have improved the real time data refreshing and uh, headset what is the power factor and CPU temperature. So if if you click here, you can check all the graph, current graph, power, and energy, and you can click. You can go to the previous data and you can check everything. So we have connected this device now newly, so there is no any of the data. So now let's click on setting option where here you can set all the options like English, English, and display stay by and all the detailing you can set here or voltage over current and over this how much voltage what's low voltage protection you can check all the thing from here this is cost option where this is used if you're using to rent the house so in that case you can use this so once the particular consumption is done so it will automatically cut the output so for that purpose this is used so let's so if you have connected this device let's keep this aside and move to the options with this if this so now this is a security protect so here it will show you what is the amps what is the watts and what is the voltage everything so in this new model we have upgraded over the software so where you can check all the details just press this down arrow where you can now detail go what is the voltage what is the current what is the power factor and what is the energy and frequency everything you can check here so again if you press this down arrow this is the voltage you can notice the thing here this is a new options where you can check all the graphs you can notice all the graph see how the graph works this is the voltage and again if you press this this will go to like what is the usage from here you can check all the thing long press if you press like what is the data we have used like this so again if you press this up arrow it will be going to the graph Again, if you press this, it will be going to the previous page. And if you, this is the normal page. So let's uh, let's give one bulb and let's check like how does this show the ampere and voltage. going to give the load of bulb line in and neutral see now you can check all the data I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope this will be this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching this video.